Uh, U.S. passenger and cargo carriers warn of a looming aviation crisis that could ground planes and wreak havoc. They say the imminent rollout of high-speed 5G telecom services could interfere with aircraft safety systems. And they're asking the government to block 5G wireless signals near airports. Uh, joining us for more is Shantanu Gangakirka. He is an Asia-Pacific aerospace defense consultant at Frost and Sullivan. Well, Shantanu, why uh, is the interference with aircraft safety an issue in the U.S., bearing in mind that South Korea doesn't face this problem since it rolled out 5G in 2019? So, the, uh, the most important reason for here to understand is uh, that radio altimeters operate in the frequency of 4.2 to 4.4 gigahertz. And uh, what's happening in U.S. is the 5GC band, which is being rolled out, is very close to 4. That's 3, or the highest is 3.98. And this, the specific reason, is why the concern. Whereas, as you mentioned, South Korea or in other countries where the 5G has is being rolling out, uh, the frequencies are uh, further away than the frequencies that radio altimeters use. Hence, there is not much of an interference expected from that frequency. Well, what about the rest of Asia, you know, which is home to some of the world's busiest airports? Uh, could such concerns pop up as countries here roll out 5G? And, and if yes, uh, what sort of safeguards do you think they can take? Sure. Uh, the, the precautions are, first of all, the most important precaution is that the frequencies are as far away as possible from the radio altimeters frequency. Because the radio altimeter frequency is fixed, 4.2 to 4.4. So the further away the frequency of 5G is, the better it's for aviation. Uh, and second is making sure that there are some exclusion zones for the airports so that the towers are not as close uh, to the airport. They are further away as much as possible. Third, the degree of uh, position of antenna, they should be slightly tilted downwards to make sure that the uh, interference is reduced uh, to a certain extent. So these are certain uh, precautions that the industry can take to avoid any further replications. Uh, but in the long term, uh, there might be some changes to the hardware in the aircraft as well to avoid such interference in the future. And have you seen any you know, as examples in Asia where we have seen uh, such interference or threats of potential threats of such interference with 5G uh, rollout? Currently, no. So currently, for example, uh, we have 5G in Europe. There are no such issues uh, expected or we, uh, the industry has faced because, again, the frequencies are, are quite far apart. Same in Asia. In Malaysia, we have recently 5G rolled out, but there are no uh, replications because the frequency is further away. So till the time the frequencies are far away, their distance from the radio altimeters frequencies, I believe uh, there should not be a lot of problem to the aviation industry. Shantanu Ganga Kerkaf, there from Frost and Sullivan. Thank you.